everybody will be using open source. Are all powered by Linux. The open source project that is powering the next generation of Samsung is the perfect example. The best example is Tyson. And it's rare, don't get me wrong, this is very rare. What's much more common is that you just have small that almost got the Nobel Prize people. Yes! <laughs> Most recent project I for the current. Well that's what you know. Share more detail about how you designed the power of the uses. Where we are today is not the outcome of a carefully crafted 20-year plan for world domination, but it's much more a series of, of events, of, of things that have happened. Um, so one event that I, I saw in the news a couple of days ago brought this maybe even more into focus. Shinya Yamanaka won the Nobel Prize in medicine. So you'll ask, why is that important? Well, uh, four months ago, Linus Torvalds and Shinya were the co-recipient of the Millennium Technology Prize. There is no Nobel Prize for technology. So, <laughs> in, in many ways, and this may be stretching it a tiny bit, but your co-recipient just received the Nobel Prize. Okay, so I almost got the Nobel Prize, people. Yes! <laughs> So let's go back to our title of the talk. What's next? Where are we going? Is this the, the, the top of the mountain and you'll sail off into the sunset or? I, so I really don't know. And uh, this is what has, as far as I'm concerned, been making kernel development interesting is uh, ever since 1992 or so, so within a few months of me starting, uh, the kernel development has not actually been driven by me. I, when I started, so this is 91, um, I had a very pedestrian view of where I wanted Linux to go. I wanted to have an operating system for my own use. And my requirements were very small, really. I, I had a small set of things I needed Linux to do. A lot of the input of what actually happens comes from other developers. So 20 years ago, this was a project by you know, people in their early 20s. Yes. Today, a lot of the people in, in, the, in, in, in the maintainership roles, and certainly that includes you, are no longer in their 20s. Some people might say you're in your 40s. Um, is the community getting old? 
Are we getting enough young people excited? Are we becoming, you know, the BSDs where we are starting to write obituaries? Or where do you see Linux going in, from this demographic sense? So I actually think we have a lot of young people, but they do tend to be kind of at the outliers. It takes a few years often to become a core maintainer. So a lot of the people I work with very closely, I may remember when they were in, in high school or, or college and were 16 or 17 years old, and they're not that anymore. Uh, we do have uh, most of the core maintainers tend to be uh, at least over 25 and often in their 30s and 40s. At the same time, many of the developers, the kind of end developers working on device drivers and, and uh, exciting new features are actually, I think, often fairly young still. Uh, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I think we have a bigger discrepancy in the uh, gender chasm where we have uh, the kernel community is 99.9% .9 male, and there's, uh, there's a couple of females, but it, they're rare. And I don't know if it's just that's true in general in computer science to a large degree, and the kernel seems to be even more extreme than that. Yeah. And I don't know what we can do about it, and uh, I don't have any easy answers to it. 저는 어, 리눅스가 오픈 소스인 게 정말로 좋고 앞으로도 계속 그랬으면 좋겠는데요. 지금 아, 아주 전에 질문 중에 어, 리눅스가 망하면 같은 얘기가 있었어요. 그런데 만약에 지금 같은 경우는 오픈 소스지만 서브 시스템을 각 기업이 어, 각 기업의 사람들이 관여를 하잖아요. 만약에 단 하나의 기업 아래에 모든 서브 시스템을 다 가지게 된다면 어, 뭐 리눅스, 리눅스 자체가 어느 한 기업에 접속되게 되지 않을까요? 라는 두려움이 좀 있는데 어떻게 생각하시나요? You, nobody needs to worry about that. The license is uh... It's kind of fixed in stone for good or bad, and I think for good because I think the license is the correct one, uh, but it also means that if somebody comes up with a better license, uh, we're never going to move to that either because it's just not legally possible to get the legal agreement from everybody involved to change the license. So Linux will remain open source. Uh, the, that kind of also answers the qu second question, which is what happens if Linux goes away. Uh, do you have any favorite open source project other than Linux and Git? Thank you. So as to the favorite desktop environment, I actually, I'm slightly unusual as a technical person. I know a lot of people, technical people, who like to kind of tinker and do special desktops and, uh, and do a lot of customization. What I want to happen is I install a Linux distribution on my machine, and I don't want to worry about anything but the kernel. And that's the my favorite desktop. Uh, thank you, Linus, for coming mm -hmm. here and answering us. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>